Hey what's up guys, it's Darius, and this is the Samsung Galaxy Alpha, 4 months after its release. Samsung is a very successful smartphone company, however it is lagging behind the competition with plastic builds which make their devices feel cheap. Don't get me wrong, I quite like Samsung devices, but there are things that need to be improved. When the Alpha was first announced, they showed off all these new features and the total new design, but in reality it just looked like any other Samsung smartphone. It's basically a shrunken and slightly improved Samsung Galaxy S5 with one key difference, it is made from metal. You could say it is a mini Note 4 or even that it looks a little bit like the iPhone 5S. So let's check out what makes the Galaxy Alpha different. This means it will be a shorter video since the list of things that make the Alpha different than other Samsung phones is pretty small. The whole point of this phone are the improved materials and the feel in the hand. I still have an old Samsung Galaxy S3 and nothing of it is metal, so when I hold it, I'm always holding plastic, which doesn't feel nice at all. Now with the Alpha, they added a chamfered metal frame around the device, so I'm now always holding metal and that makes a huge difference and makes it feel very nice in the hand. The buttons are very tactile and overall the build of this phone is extremely improved. It comes with a pretty small 4.7 inch display and generally still looks like a normal Samsung phone. The front is almost identical to the S5's front, the edges are just a little more square. What makes it weird is the backside. It is very similar to the S5's back, just the golf ball texture isn't as present. I really like removable backs, we have access to the removable battery, but we sadly don't get expandable storage. But this is exactly what makes it strange. On the one hand, it has a metal band and premium feel, and then on the other hand, it is same old Samsung again, with a plastic removable back. Don't get me wrong, it feels good and solid, just not very premium. It almost feels like a compromise, like Samsung couldn't really decide if they should make this a completely premium phone or stick with the old design. It's clearly not a full flagship device, it comes with a beastly octa-core processor, 2GB of RAM, all the usual sensors and stuff, but then it drops to an OK 720p display, an older 12 megapixel sensor and an 1860mAh battery. The display isn't bad, but it isn't comparable to other 720p displays. Yes, the relatively low resolution helps with battery life, but the below 2000mAh battery still doesn't last for long. Also the camera is sadly just average and definitely not compares to cameras found in high-end flagship smartphones. Nevertheless, performance is great, sometimes even better than on the S5, and the software experience is almost identical to the one on the S5. It runs TouchWiz on top of KitKat quite smoothly and it is also supposed to get Android Lollipop soon. It even has a heart rate monitor and a fingerprint sensor. I really like how it fits my hand with that 4.7 inch screen, it is one of the best phones to use with one hand. We get very nice specs and a very premium device, but it's not quite there yet. I would call it the beginning of the premium revolution from Samsung. In the 4 months since its release, not much has changed. The performance is still great, sadly it still hasn't received the lollipop update. The price has come down, which justifies the drawbacks that it comes and it is still one of the best feeling phones out there. In the end, it is definitely an improved Samsung phone, feels very nice in the hand, very premium and it was hard for me to believe that it was holding a Samsung phone. I also quite like the design, it isn't revolutionary, but it is a step in the right direction. However, as already mentioned, it isn't a full-on flagship device, but it does get me very excited for the Samsung Galaxy S6, which is a full flagship device and is supposed to be announced in a couple of months. This is actually my friend's phone, so thank you for him for letting me do a video on it. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.